The creation of autonomous ships brings great opportunities, but it also comes with an increased threat to cybersecurity. Plymouth University is at the forefront of research to understand both technologies. Through its Marine Institute, it's leading a project to build a full-size autonomous ship to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Our reporter Donna Bernard went to Plymouth to find out why this project is so important. Not for the first time in its history, Plymouth is to see a vessel set sail that will open up a whole new world. Experts at the world-famous Plymouth University Marine Institute have launched a pioneering project to design, build and sail the world's first full-sized, fully autonomous unmanned ship from this historic location. The Mayflower Autonomous Ship Project is intended to build the next generation of ocean-going autonomous vessels. We're intending to build a full-scale sailing vessel powered by renewable energies that's capable of navigating autonomously from Plymouth UK to Plymouth US following the route of the original Mayflower 400 years later. The voyage is planned for 2020. It'll take place after two and a half years of building and testing between the university and its partners, superyacht specialist Shuttleworth Design and M-Subs, who make both manned and unmanned submersibles. And it'll also allow us to engage with industry in a non-competitive way to sort of be a test bed for emerging technology and autonomous shipping that they then can use in their own endeavors in the commercial world. While at sea, the Mayflower Autonomous Ship will conduct scientific experiments, study climatology, oceanography and marine biology. In fact, any science you can imagine doing on a ship with people. But now scientists from around the world can be remotely connected to the ship by satellite. The rules that govern how ships are built are all about safeguarding life at sea. If there aren't any people at sea on these ships, then the ship can be optimized as a pure machine. So its efficiency can go up and that'll make it much greener. It's very expensive to do work at sea. Um, if you have a, a, a research vessel that costs tens of thousands of pounds a day, just going to and fro, taking routine measurements, we can do that much more effectively by using a, a, a research ship that's autonomous. It can go off, it can scan the seabed and map the seabed or take measurements of the water column and the surface water and then come back and um, deliver that data while the ship can do something much more important. Unmanned ships also mean a reduction in loss of life, as there'd be fewer crew needed to do the type of work regarded as dull, dirty or dangerous. Autonomous technology could change the face of the maritime, marine and shipping sector. It could even affect the future of our fishing fleets. But with that new technology comes the ever-increasing threat of cyber attacks. Plymouth University is at the forefront of understanding and addressing cybersecurity. We are investing very heavily in terms of the, this, this particular project and we have the capacity for the highest level of training. But it also coincides with the whole idea of, well, if you have autonomous vessels, they are very vulnerable potentially to cyber attack. So, you know, worst case scenario would be, think of the worst shipping disaster you've ever heard of. Imagine that deliberately engineered to happen at the worst time in the worst possible place. And I think you can see the consequences of that could be extremely high. It is effectively a modern form of piracy where you can use IT information available online to um, find out intelligence, steal cargo, hijack ships, uh, destroy ships and in some cases if it is well planned without even revealing this uh, to the base. In order to combat this threat while developing their autonomous technology, the university has gathered together specialist professionals from shipping, business, technology and psychology. So we're including everything from technical vulnerabilities of the systems, the way in which those systems could be attacked, the likelihood of things happening if such attacks do take place, and also factoring in crew behaviour, crew training. So we really have what we call a socio-technical solution, which involves both technology and people. Seafaring has always been a hazardous pursuit, the shipping industry regarded as somewhat conservative, resistant to change. But the Mayflower autonomous ship will sail straight into history after its launch in 2020 and potentially revolutionise ocean travel forever.